Good morning, it's me, Miss Heather. I'm here today to read you Diary of a Worm by Doreen Cronin, pictures by Harry Bliss. And this is the same author that wrote Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type, and I've already read that one. And um, she just has some really great ones out there. So I thought I would share this one with you. Diary of a Worm. And these pictures are amazing. They're really cute. March 20th. Mom says there are three things I should always remember. One, the earth gives us everything we need. Two, when we dig tunnels, we help take care of the earth. And then he says, must make tunnel, help earth breathe. And number three, never bother daddy when he's eating the newspaper. Chomp, 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 chomp. March 29th. Today I tried to teach Spider how to dig. Spider's like, what? First of all, his legs got stuck. Spider says, I think I've twisted one of my ankles. Then he swallowed a bunch of dirt. I give up. Tomorrow he's going to teach me how to walk upside down. Do you think that's going to work? March 30th. Worms cannot walk upside down. Look, he's holding him by his web. He's, ah! April 4th. Fishing season started today. We all dug deeper. And the dad says, did you guys hear something? That shovel's right above him. Looks like Grandpa's sleeping. April 10th. It rained all night and the ground was soaked. We spent the entire day on the sidewalk. Hopscotch is a very dangerous game. <laughs> ah! April 15th. I forgot my lunch today. I got so hungry that I ate my homework. Oh no. And it says, eat all your trash. Kiss, kiss, mom. My teacher made me write, I will not eat my homework 10 times. When I finished, I ate that too. He was really hungry. It says, I will not eat my homework. I will not eat my homework. April 20th. I snuck up on some kids in the park today. They didn't hear me coming. I wiggled up right between them and they screamed. Ah, I love when they do that. <laughs> May 1st. Grandpa taught us that good manners are very important. So today I said good morning to the first aunt I saw. And he's saying good morning. There were 600 more of them in line. And the little worm's going good morning, good morning, good morning. How you doing? Good morning. Nice to see you. Howdy. Good morning. I stood there all day. All day. 600 ants would take a long time. Uh-oh. May 8th had the worst nightmare last night. Giant birds playing hopscotch. Mom says I have to stop eating so much garbage right before I go to bed. <laughs> See his bed's a little Lipton tea bag box. May 15th. I got into a fight with Spider today. He told me you need legs to be cool. Then he ran. I couldn't keep up. Maybe he's right. May 16th, I made Spider laugh so hard he fell out of his tree. Who needs legs? Thud. Like he's got a fake arrow going through his, going through his head. May 28th, last night I went to the school dance. You put your head in, you put your head out, you do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself about. And then that's all we could do. Cause they don't have arms or legs or feet. June 5th, today we made macaroni necklaces in art class. <laughs> One piece of macaroni. I brought mine home and we ate it for dinner. The dad says, you're very talented. <laughs> June 15th, my older sister thinks she's so pretty. I told her that no matter how much time she spend, spends looking in the mirror, her face will always look just like her rear end. <laughs> Spider thought that was really funny. 
Mom did not. July 4th. When I grow up, I want to be a Secret Service agent. Spider says I will have to be very careful because the president might step on me by mistake. It's a dangerous job, I told him, but someone's got to do it. Isn't that cute little Secret Service worms? July 28th. Three things I don't like about being a worm. Number one, I can't chew gum. Bubble gum, long lasting. Number two, I can't have a dog. Mom, can we keep him, Mom? And the mom's like, ah! Number three, all that homework. Let's read some of these, because these are cute. So the first book says, Digging, a History, then Soil, Through the Ages, My Casting Journal, Night Crawlers, and Compost 101. All worm books. July 29th, three good things about being a worm. One, I never have to go to the dentist. No cavities, no teeth either, Dr. DK. Number two, I never get in trouble for tracking mud through the house. Number three, I never have to take a bath. And then the mom says, who's my grubby little boy? <laughs> August 1st. It's not always easy being a worm. We're very small, and sometimes people forget that we're even here. But like Mom always says, the Earth never forgets we're here. So this is his home, and then it says exit, and then sis, and then grandpa, and then another exit. This is Mom and Dad and library, and over here it says kitchen. It's, it's like his house. It's all the different rooms in his house. He has little tunnels. The end. Very cute. It just kind of shows you a different view of being somebody a little different. So, very cute. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you guys real, again real soon. Bye. Mwah.